Hey guys, it's MBSC1 again, and I want to talk about what I did wrong at regionals yesterday. Um, so, I went to regionals yesterday and did really poorly, actually, um, and I was using that Dark Ride deck I talked about in the last video, if you've seen it. Um, I'll put a link to it in the description if you want to see my list and stuff. And so, what I did wrong was I didn't have any switch in my deck, which I realized later was a really bad idea for the mirror match, because if you get put to sleep, you're just... You just stay asleep. You have no real way of getting around that besides Keldeo, and I didn't have Keldeo either. And Keldeo wouldn't even work if I had Garbodor out, so, you know, um, you really just need Switch. And I didn't have any, and I'm contemplating a third Switch right now, but currently I have two in my deck. And <clears throat> the things I took out for Switch were um, a Max Potion and an Absol. Um, I felt like Absol didn't help me, and uh, Max Potion didn't help me very much either. So... Uh, that's what I did for that, and then also in the video that I posted yesterday, I had, I think, both Absol and Caldeo on that list, and I would definitely take those out. Um, I also put in two Enhanced Hammers after the tournament because I realized that uh, Enhanced Hammers are really important, and Absol and Max Potion don't really help my match against Plasma that much anyway, so you actually really need those Enhanced Hammers. I didn't see that before. But um, I do now, after I got peeped by Plasma so many times. So, the first match was awesome. It was, like, the only match I won, actually. <laughs> um, I played against uh, Blastoise with three beaches, and I just beat it two games in a row. Um, it was really, felt really good, because, like, you know, it's just that feeling of someone has that card, you know, three of those cards that are worth, like, 150 to 200 bucks, and I don't know, it just felt really good to beat them. Um... I'm sorry to that guy, though, if you're watching this, because <laughs> he seemed like a really good player. Um, anyway, so I beat him, and then and then in my second round, I faced Simon Narod. You might know who that is. He got uh, second place at Worlds this year, so he's he's pretty good. <laughs> um, and he was playing Plasma again, and uh, he beat me pretty bad, because I don't have Enhanced Tamers, or I didn't have Enhanced Tamers in that build, so he just kind of wrecked on me, and... Uh, yeah, that wasn't that fun. He, he even got supporter drains for, like, three turns in the beginning, and he still beat me that game, and then also the second game. But, excuse me, <coughs> I just got some really good Chipotle. <laughs> and then, in my third game, what happened in my third game? Oh, yes, I went against Genesec Verizian. And that, I really like that matchup, not because I think it's a good matchup, just because I think it's fun, honestly. I really want to run Genesec Verizian, um, but I don't have any Tropical Beach, and I feel like... I feel like you can do it without Tropical Beach, but you benefit a lot from um, having the Tropical Beach. Uh, some people I've seen run like one of that Tropius that I think does 10 damage and then you draw until you have 10 cards in your hand. I mean, not 10, that would be insane. 6 cards in your hand. Um, so I could do that. I could do one or two of those and just try to start out with it all the time. Um, but yeah, it would be great to run that deck. And so we ended up tying. I beat him the first game and then he beat me the second pretty bad. You really have to get rid of those, uh, the G-Booster. I mean, if you just let him keep G-Boostering, you're really going to die fast. Um, yeah, he beat me pretty bad the second game. And then in the third, I'm pretty sure I would have won it, but um, with a new system, you can get ties, and so we ended up tying because we didn't finish it, which totally sucks. I hate ties. Um, so that was the third game, and then I believe we went to lunch... And then on the fourth game, I went against... I don't remember. Fifth game. <laughs> fifth game, I went against a Speed Lugia deck. Um, and that sucked because I didn't even know what Speed Lugia was until that tournament. Um, I mean, I sort of did, but like I didn't know what you ran in it or anything. Like I just thought it was crap that no one ran. But... I mean, I still kind of do think it's crap that no one runs. Well, just crap, because obviously people run it, because I played it two matches in a row, which is what I played the next round. Anyway, so that sucked, um, because also no enhanced hammers, so I can't enhance hammer the DC or the uh, chorus or plasma energy on the um, Lugia. So I got donked that game. That was really fun. He, had <laughs> he chorus machined twice to a Lugia, and then Skylid for a computer search, and then computer search for d double colorless energy, and knocked out my Trubbish on the first turn. So that totally sucked. Um, second game I beat him, 
and then third game was a tie or I lost. I don't remember. Either way, I didn't win, and that's all I really care about, honestly. And then after him, I faced another guy playing Speed Lugia, which is just weird. Um, he was he was better, though. Um, I sort of got donked against him. Not really. He went first, and then used thunderous or yeah started with thunderous and put two deoxys on the bench and i started with absol so we just did 50 and that was my turn i juniper didn't get any ultra ball or any pokemon and then passed and then it was his turn and he just hit me for 50 again and won the game and then second believe the second game i believe i won and then the third i think he beat me so um really wish i had enhanced hammers honestly it really sucks and the other thing is i mean like Lugia's not bad, actually. Like, I thought it was really bad, but it's it's not bad when... It's at least, it's not bad when your opponent has things like Trubbish, Absol, and Sableye in their deck, which I have, so that's another reason why they did so well. Um, I couldn't set up a Garbodor except for one game, and then he tool scrappered it and just catchered up the Garbodor and Plasma Gale'd it and took two prizes. So, <clears throat> I'm sorry, um... It's kind of a hard matchup, honestly. Uh, it w I don't think it would be hard if I had Enhanced Hammers, though. I feel like I could have beaten them pretty easily, um, both of them. And then on my seventh, yeah, on my seventh game, that's what we're on now, I played against someone using Kabalian, Landorus, Mewtwo, and Garbodor, which is getting a little bit popular, um, except he didn't run the double colorless energy, and he just run ran Fighting and Steel and no Blender Prism. So he just... Uh, basically used three Landorus and wrecked my deck and I don't really feel bad about that because that is a terrible matchup for me because I can't even use my Garbodor on him because he has no abilities uh, yeah that was pretty bad um, so he beat me 2-0 no question about it and then in my eighth game by that time I had been playing Pokemon for 10 hours and I didn't even really care I was pretty much just playing for fun at that point and I played against this girl that was also playing Dark Eye Garbodor. And uh, I believe we tied or something like that. Yeah, I think we tied. So, uh, yeah. Pretty crappy. <laughs> I ended up with... So, I'm, uh, some of those games I'm not sure if I tied or lost. But I ended up winning one game. Losing four. And then tying two. No, three. Two or three. Two. Yeah, dying two. Anyway, um, so that's how that went. Uh, lesson learned, you have to run Enhanced Hammers in Darkrai. Maybe even do three, honestly, <laughs> because of, depending on the metagame. Because when I went to regionals, like, 60% of people were running Plasma. Um, and I think that's pretty much why I got beat down so, so, so much. Um, if I could do it again... I would try to get Genesect Verizian stuff because I feel like Genesect Verizian did really well and it has probably the best matchups in my opinion. Um, or if I couldn't get money to get Genesects, I would just put Enhanced Hammers back in my deck. So that's how that went. Um, I went to my local league today and just played and uh, I in my first round I got beat by a guy that had landorus in his deck and he really just got lucky honestly like we went into sudden death and he has one or two landorus in his deck and he started with it and basically everything else he could have started with i would have beaten him but he started with that landorus and he got lucky and beat me which kind of makes me mad but anyway since that happened i was basically furious so i took about my dark ride deck and then i made this flareon I had this flareon deck and it's really fun and it's actually pretty good. So I'm gonna make another video talking about that deck because it's my new favorite thing in the world. <laughs> so that's all. Um, I hope you liked it.